Tonight we are honoring the queens of the world. So we are all dressing up as queens and uh, shout out to all you queens watching. Uh, listen, ladies, Will Smith took over Jada's platform, Red Table Talk, to discuss what led to the disconnect between him and Janet Hubert la that lasted nearly 30 years. Now, one of the highlights from the show, Janet stated that she was a professional and there was a level of respect that she deserved. Mm -hmm. And because she didn't laugh at Will Smith's jokes, she was banished and banished and forced to stay in her room. Will later admitted that he struggled with not receiving the attention from Janet and that the little boy in him desperately needed her approval. That's deep. What are your thoughts on Will and Janet hashing out their issues? Absolutely love it. When I tell you, Will, before our eyes, have turned into such a charming philanthropist that you can learn from. Yes. I like the way that he handles himself. I like that he can step up and step out and be accountable and say, hey, I'm wrong and I'm sorry. That's huge. That's big. That is Hollywood at its best. Black love. When I tell you everything about him, I love. I think that, that that was an excellent surprise um, that you got to see him and her reconnect. And it wasn't like glossed over. Like they sat down as adults and talked about it and said, this is how you made me feel. I lost everything. And for him to say, I just thought that that was so amazing to catch that on camera. And then the fact that the they had closure, uh, that the, the kids like, you know, Tatiana Ali and Karen Parsons was like, oh my God, both Aunt Viv's, that was the first time they met each other, saw each other. Mm. I, I'm grateful for moments like that because I was part of the cast and got to leave them a little special message. And I didn't even know that. So when I saw that she walked in and they gave her her moment too. Y'all saw her saunter in there? Yes, honey. And then everybody then started bringing the thing with her doing a dance later. It was an excellent comeback. And, and I'm glad that Will extended that olive branch because Janet, it was time. Janet went on to say, I just hated what you did. You yes. took my career of away of 30 something years. You just went too far when you were younger and you always had to win. Do you guys think, Selena, do you think that Will should help her try to get her career back? Do you think he owes her that? Um, I do feel like, you know, first of all, I don't think anybody owes anybody anything, but I do think that it would make a lot of sense if he did, if he was able to extend some kind of olive branch now. However, the most important part of this entire moment is to um, show and shine the fact that women in this industry do go through that kind of unfair blackballing. You know what I'm saying? And not just on, not just with the two of them, but I'm sure this goes on and uh, maybe Lisa Ray and Vivica can speak to this even more, you know, that this type of blackballing with black women in this industry, because it definitely happens in the music business, happens all the time for issues that we don't have control over. And in, Will, in, in Will's case, it was his own mental anguishes that he dealt with with his father when he was a child. So, you know, um, I just really love though that they're showing healing yes. in a time like now where we all need it. We're showing people up top. They're showing people up top. I really like this about Red Table too. You know, just shout out to that entire family. They show up top what healing looks like. Cause you know, we, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Like you guys yes. said earlier and this type of interaction is what we need to see more, is what black people need to see more. That's because what I we don't say. we don't show this enough, you know. And I believe, you know, I, it's just unfortunate along the way that all these years, you mean to tell me that there was nobody, there was no one that wanted to believe in her career because of that one person. I've had a lot of men in my career try to talk shit, you know what I'm saying? But I was still able to, you know, prevail. So I'm I'm trying to. I don't understand, you know, when you ask the question, Claudia, I don't understand how she wasn't able to bounce back. I know they spoke about her actually having some issues of her own that were in her own family with her own husband and stuff. So is it all his fault the, too? You know what I'm saying? The modern day blackmail, blackball, Monique. Mm -hmm. See, that's happening now. You yeah. know what I mean? And she won an Oscar. She was a great comedian, still is. You know what I mean? That's and for loving her husband. Her whole name. And she's like, so if Will Smith can do this, Tyler Perry and Oprah and Lee Daniels, 
What about y'all? Do you think now that you owe me an apology? Can I at least hear you say what you said behind closed doors? And that's what she's saying. Don't let it take 30 years. Mm. And Will has set an example for us to say, hey, this can happen. And like you said, Selena, no, he doesn't owe her. But knowing Will, as charming as he is, I bet you he's going to do something. Yeah. I feel like he'll find a way. Absolutely. Well, that's one thing you can can uh, attest to with Will Smith. He put you to work. Like he, they believe in work. Like their whole family works, and they're creative people. So I just think that it was a matter of comfort. And I say it's this that, you know, in the business it's as growing. women, and, and as women, it's a delicate line that we have to walk in relationships. You know, it's and and because you can't burn relationships. And sometimes when people are very powerful and um, you're a problem and you continue to speak out, there's consequences to that. So, you know, it's not it's, it's not always sometimes what you say, but it's how you say it. Um, Cause you know, I'm not saying to bite your tongue or anything like that, but you definitely, I don't know if there was some of those conversations should have been private, but you know, Uma Thurman grabbed me by the hand because I was wanting to be a brat and tell Quentin Tarantino he was getting on my nerves when we were doing training for Kill Bill. And she didn't have to do that. And she said, learn to be more manipulative. You can get exactly what you want, but just learn how to say it. And I appreciate it telling me that. So, you know, I do. When it comes to that story and, and going back to Monique, and we're going to take a break after this. I spoke to Tyler Perry and I, I spoke to Monique. I had her on the show and then I also spoke to Tyler Perry and there, there's definitely, they both have valid points. And also with this story with Janet and Will, she also did admit that she was going through a lot and she was miserable and she wasn't in a good place. So very well may have been that Will was being immature and he was 30 at the time. He was young, he was a young hey, high And she probably was unbearable at the time. And then time makes everything worse. If you get an argument with each other, one of if we get an argument with each other and like, weeks go by the longer it goes the more you like the feeling is worse mm. it, it's exaggerated it gets it, it, it grows it doesn't get worse it doesn't get People get more stubborn it does and it makes it harder to go back so i'm glad that they're doing it now but it sucked that 30 years had to go by who knows what magic that's a long time yeah and it I'm happened just like that i mean like when they said they're 30 so very reunion, I was like, wow 30 years yeah well we're gonna take a quick break when we return yes. we're with two single moms who are maneuvering through the obstacles of this pandemic. We'll be back with more cocktails with Queens on Fox Soul when we return. <laughs> 